Welcome Pisces Aries to your Akashic reading for January. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, getting straight into this. This message is for the beginning of spring through the beginning of summer. Okay, just getting a heads up, see what's coming your way. Best message for... Best message for Pisces, Aries, what's coming their way. Best message is the King of Roses. Wow. Could be a Pisces coming your way. Could also be a Cancer or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But it's definitely talking about a potential union at hand, either through friendship, business, or even romance, where there is a new relationship or a blossom of an old one. This person is tender-hearted, thoughtful, and supportive. So if you do feel like you are married and your your spouse has not been very supportive, well, here's a big break and change around. Um, they're feeling it and they're feeling like they want to open up, be more happy, and this is going to bring a lot more happiness and um, peace to the home. Um, if this is a new relationship, um, this definitely could be one that is blossoming um, into a better relationship um, and it, then again, it could be a brand spanking new relationship coming in towards what looks like the end of spring, going straight into the beginning of summer where this person is just going to walk into your arms, walk into your heart and really be open and sincere to you. Um, and this person is a very open uh, and sincere person. Um, so don't have any problems with that. Might even be coming with chocolates, candies, things of this nature. Okay. Here we go. Someone you can really talk to. Love that. The willow. There's that peace coming out. Yes, bringing back that peace and harmony within a home or a relationship. Um, however it's going to be for you, you'll know when this time comes. Um, it definitely does feel like it, like it is uh, coming in towards that end of spring when it's starting to look kind of uh, um, like summertime um, is kind of killing off the you know, the, the flowers and the grass and all. Yep, yeah, there it is. Spring through autumn. Ooh, very nice. So, yes, the end of spring is really what I'm feeling over here, beginning of summer for the majority of you. Um, but, yes, definitely during this time, it does feel like this person is going to really want to open up and share their feelings and you're gonna, or you're going to run right into this person. Who is at peace? This person is a very peaceful person. They have, you know, they're not combative. Um, you have the willow tree, so there's this going to definitely be this very relaxing relationship coming out of this where there's peace, there's harmony, and just a lot of communication um, with the water coming through. Water talks about the compassion and the creativity and the cooling and very nice. So those of you who did have War of the Roses going on in your home, in your relationship, um, there is no more War, war of the Roses. This person is not of War of the Roses, I said, right? They are wanting the peace. They want to bring in the love and compassion. Um, so those of you who have felt like your relationship has been up and down and over here and there, this is going to be where your you and your spouse can finally find the peace um, back together and blossom that relationship with the Akashic field coming through. There's an energy that's going on around this time of the year that is really remarkable and it's really energizing of this person to want to bring their love um, and it's like they're out exploring and they're really open to wanting this relationship um, however the relationship is um, and definitely feeling like they really want to find someone who's more like themselves and they want someone who's calm who's peace who's peaceful who's happy who's fun um, bringing in that akashic field of oneness um, looking for someone who is more like themselves Right. And they don't want somebody full of negativity and all that stuff, right? Um, and like I said, if it's a relationship, it's like you guys are finally um, a spousal, a marriage, or anything, a committed relationship. It feels like there's finally the peace that you need where your energies can finally reconnect together. So very nice. Okay. So let's see what we got over here on the willow.
It's having this understanding and this clarity of mind. It's going to bring in a lot of clarity in mind of where this piece is and really keeping the mind at peace um, and having this understanding together. Here comes that love with the imprints coming out. Um, yes, feeling like your homestead is back to where it's harvesting, um, you know, maybe you and your mother or whoever it is also, because um, like I said, it could be even friendship or, you know, somebody else as well will also bring that in feel like you are more connected and more at peace. It does feel more like your wife or your husband, though, um, if you're more married, because um, it feels more of that kind of uh, passionate love for the majority of you, um, where you are really coming back together for the family or wanting to maybe even make a family, or maybe you are in the process of making a family um, and maybe you're having some issues um, back and forth, but bringing... You know, this is kind of like, this is what I've always dreamed of. I'm um, having a very nostalgic feeling about where your dreams were. Um, this person is a very dreamy person. Um, man, they feel very Piscean um, energy of a, of a dreamer and a daydreamer and bringing their dreams to reality, um, things of this nature. And it feels like you're kind of doing your same thing. Um, and it does feel like the two are very connected. You two are very connected on looking for a, a love that shares the same qualities, same values, wanting to be valued, wanting someone to see your worth as you see their worth. And it just feels like it's very connected. Um, wow. There's a lot of support coming out of this person. Um, this person does see a lot of support through you. Um, and they feel like they want to support this because that's what they're looking for. They want the equal give and take. Um, and there's a lot of equal give and take within this relationship as it's building. Wow. This is definitely a cycle change, which is going to make your vitality feel like you're just skipping and jumping around. Um, and you need that because it's a fresh new start and it feels like there's some kind of freedom. Um, if you've also been in a relationship in the past where you didn't feel like this person gave you any freedom, no space, where's my space? And this person is going to give you the space, give you the freedom, um, the freedom to be yourself, um, not call you 952,000 times and where are you? What are you doing? Let me look in your phone. God, what is that? I want to see who you're talking to. You're not doing those things. Um, this person allows you and trust. There's a trust. That's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. It's a trust issue with this person. And it feels like because maybe they've also done this. Um, they've been in that situation. They don't want to do that to you because they didn't like it when it happened to them. Um, or they never would allow that to happen to them. However it is, right? Um, but it moves in such a beautiful space of trust. Oh my gosh. And it just keeps moving along for the passion, bringing in this passion and this, this overall joy and celebration. And it does feel like there is some kind of celebration that's going on. Um, even if it's not, you know, 100% a real true event, maybe you guys do meet at a wedding or at an event. It could be a, even a huge possibility. Um, but uh, it's just bringing it back to where it needs to be. If you're married, it's bringing the fire back to the bedroom where it needs to be um, instead of feeling like you're always nitpicking each other, however it is. Everything is coming back around to where it feels settled and feels like it's um, real. How about that? How about just real? How about true, real, what people really want? Uh, there's other people in the world that want exactly what you want and you finally are finding this person who wants what you want. They don't want to be that one person. They don't want to be, you know, a hoe or, or however this is. You know what I'm saying? They're not a player. They're not the hoe. They're not the this. They're not the that. I mean, if it's your spouse, they don't want to be in the corner anymore and you don't want to be in the corner anymore. We want to come together. We want to figure this out. We want to support each other um, because you see all this great love and nurturing. We want to nurture and harvest and grow um, there's a lot of growing. See the growth here in the Ace of Swords. We see the growth within the imprints. We see the support within the page of coins. The, you know, the vitality, the strength, the cycle change. Um, this is somebody who wants to be true. They want to open up their heart and they want the overall compassion just like you do. And maybe it was because, you know, what the War of the Roses, maybe we couldn't speak the real truth. Maybe you kept hiding the truth from me, or maybe you were this, or you were that, and I was this, and maybe I was hiding out. You know, we never came together, and then finally it blossoms together, and here, 
the sun comes out and it just brings everything together because finally the Akashic field is like on our side. No more fragmented energy, no more fear about what you think and I think. We're going to actually talk it out. Um, however this works, um, take it, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, remember, if there are certain things I say, you just throw that away. If you're not married, throw it away, right? Um, but definitely this beautiful, compassionate passion, passion, compassion and passion together. Couldn't get any better than that with understanding and listening and communicative skills. Wow, a lot of communication. I see a lot of blue, a lot of swords. Very grounded situation over here. Very beautiful. So let's see what animals we have over here. I keep hearing too, like tired of the runaround. And it's almost like you're going to find this person who's tired of the runaround just as you are. Tired of being let down, tired of the runaround. Yes, this is all about being joyful and, and, and turtling around. <laughs> it's uh, being joyful and trusting. And like I said, it was all about trust, right? There's this whole big thing about trust, but it's definitely a lot of swirling and turtling. Um, and the reason is, is because I'm feeling that water pulling out of you um, that's saying, you know, and this is what I want. I want fun. I want to be able to, you know, know that there is this trust and this joy you know, I want this freedom and I, you know, I want somebody who's like myself. Could be even a lot of beach play and a lot of water play over here, going to the river, going to the beach, doing things like that. I see the water here as well. So they will like the water the way you like the water and enjoy the water, enjoy nature, getting out there. Here's the nature again. There's a lot of in commonness. And that's another thing that's going to keep this going is being in common and trap. There's a lot of travel there as well. So maybe you and your spouse are getting ready to travel. And this actually brings and sparks that together as well. So it, there's a huge possibility that just one little, one little travel, one little journey out brings you back to a place where you once were from the past and starting to become nostalgic about, Hey, remember when we used to do this and remember, and that just opened you up and it allows you to blossom. It just brings you two back together where you once were without the in and outs of the daily this and that or the social media or friends or family getting in your business or however it is, right? Bills up my butt, you know, and pulling us apart because of finances. No, we can actually go out and enjoy life and find that blossoming again, which brings the two of you back together. Maybe some of you, it's even just having a baby, right? Maybe, who knows? Okay, snake, live accordingly to your divine essence. Maybe even re renovating a house or moving. There's all kinds of things going on over here. Live accordingly to your divine essence. That's all it really is, isn't it? Who are you and what you want? And this brings this other person to the same place as you. I feel like they want to live accordingly to their divine essence as well. Everybody just wants to be themselves in a lot of ways, but we don't want the ups and downs of the BS from other people. We just, you know, it's like, where's the real people? Where are the true people? Be patient and focused, my friends. Just remember everything works at a divine timing. You don't have to push. Just allow the water to flow. You see the water in the piece of the tree over here and just allow it to flow in the perfect timing. This person, you know, if it's a new person who's coming in, my friends are not going to be here any faster if you try to push it. You have to wait for them to come in during that time. And I know if it's a new person, because you're saying I don't have a person, so it has to be a new person. You know, you don't have to run around, you know, town and, and the city to try to figure out where who this person is. <laughs> who are you? Um, they will come at the divine timing. Um, just be patient and be focused upon the situation. Okay. want to do that just remember to be the rabbit and recognize your significance because that's all it's going to end up anyways right just remember who you are what you want there's a blessing coming with the rainbow coming in see a lot of rainbows all these rainbows lots of blessings just gotta wait for that perfect timing 
Get some angel cards. For those of you who are married or are already in a committed relationship, you're going to find this beautiful compromise coming through because it's just going to come at the divine timing, okay? And there's no reason to be assertive about the situation because there's nothing. It's just going to do its own thing. It's its own energy. It's its own flow. So you don't even have to feel like you're doing any major, major work. The only major work you need to do is just be communicative, listen, and communicate, you know, and just communicate back and forth. Um, you're going to find that there is going to be this beautiful forgiveness if you're in a married relationship or this commitment. So you will find that, you know, you will find that forgiveness for a romance. And for everybody, this is a real, the majority of you, this is a romantic re, uh, relationship. Like I said, for some of you, it could be that, you know, um, having the communication with your mother again. Um, that's the only thing I did see that was not of a romance um, was getting in contact with your mom. And that could also bring in this forgiveness um, your mother, maybe even your father. Um, but otherwise the majority of you, it's all this romance and, and just knowing yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. It's just that it's not the right time yet. And spirit really wants you to understand this is right in spring to summer, beginning of summer, not now. So there's no reason to really push forward on anything. It's just going to open up for the big, happy changes. It's just the way it is. It's it's like fatally done. That's the way it is, right? For those of you who this resonates with, okay? So don't stop being the snake and don't stop being the turtle. Just keep going to what you're going after. You know what you want and you're going to have your success, okay? Man, that's going to be so awesome when this person or you guys get back together or however this blossoms out. Whatever the situation is, it is a blossoming moment that is going to be so true and so good for you. Because it is definitely something you've been thinking about and nostalgic about happening for a while. And they have been also. So you guys are definitely on the same energy um, and really on the same uh, thought pattern as well. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.